Good evening, Possibility Wars fans. Um, it is the 17th of July, 2022, and we're going to carry on our story. Um, and here is the the basic deal. Uh, we will be in Act 1, Dead Man's History, uh, tonight, and we are going to be uh, uh, continuing in Scene 3, House of Blood. <laughs> um Okay, so I'm really weird. Can't help it. All right. Um, so uh, last week went really, really, really well. We had, well, on my end, we had no technical deficiencies whatsoever. A um, couple of the players had a couple of technical issues uh, with either a laptop or the internet unplugging or, or something like that. Um, we are going to be missing Catherine tonight, who plays Rios and runs the uh, the minion character Anden, um, who is the valet of uh, Rios. Uh, she is uh, not going to be able to join us tonight. She's having fun in France. Um, okay, what do you guys remember from last week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a good start. Sure. Uh, all right. So we came to this crime scene, mm -hmm. and it's obviously that the ninjas not here for us, so they never left, and they uh, either took out the officers that were here or just impersonated them, and we were basically ambushed. Yes. And then we started the fight, and they've already killed, they've killed a couple already, and about to kill some more. Because <laughs> <laughs> they chose the wrong samurai in the best way. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Artorias, what about you? I remember I did not make very good rolls in the last session. You're gonna do great that's, tonight. <laughs> that's the biggest got up, That's the biggest takeaway I got from last time. But we were able to defeat the ninjas, or at least two of them. Mm -hmm. Now two of them are on the run. We're trying to intervene and intercept, so we can try to interrogate them. Okay, correct. Uh, Peaches. Uh, yeah. Uh, who was it that made the observation rule that the Cops on the watch were actually had been replaced with evil ninjas. Uh, that was brilliant. That was a card that Chris played, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. I did. Yep, you did. Yep. And and that was a brilliant card to play. Even even I'm gonna sit here as the jilted GM, and I'm gonna say that was out of this world. It was the alertness card, uh, and he noticed an otherwise unseen item clue or event. Uh, and it was the ninjas on top of the roof, or, well, at least one of the ninjas on top of the roof, just as they were preparing to drop down and charge you guys. Um, so, it kept, so it kept bacon. you from being surprised. What was that, Ginger? And saving, and saving all our bacon that way. The, quite literally. Actually, to be honest with you, um, there's only four of them, and you've already taken care of two. You're chasing one, and then, well, actually, you're chasing two, but you're close enough to one of them that you'll probably be able to get something out of it. Um, uh, but uh, that was a brilliantly played card, and, and uh, hats off to you, Connor. That was really good. Thank you. Um, yeah, just want to remind the players that these cards are awesome, and the more you learn to play them, the more luck favors us so be you know mindful and always try to play for cards if you can exactly handy, like let's see then chris what else do you remember from last week uh i made a guy fall to his death <laughs> you didn't and make a guy fall to his death you picked him up in the air and dropped him <laughs> 
Vanessa he and he died. He purposely made him go split. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that that was actually pretty cool. I I wasn't sure that the amount of damage he was going to take was going to be enough to put him down, but uh, uh, you you really did, and that was that was weird. So you had a good week last week. So that's the truth. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Um, and I made that threatening thing of saying, uh, "The ninja one was next." <laughs> and now I'm after him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he okay. was the one that started to you know, run first. Yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to unpause it. Nobody move nothing. Um, okay, we are in, if I'm not mistaken, we are in round two, and we've got to finish up round two. Okay. Um, Hmm. I don't. Rem I don't think any of you guys took any uh, any shock last uh, the last couple of games, did you? Or or during this combat? No, I don't think so. Okay. All right. So um, peaches. I'm What's that? that extra damage. I okay. Say that again. I'm sorry. I took one because I used my my perk. Okay. The, the key strike mm. on that one ninja. Well, right. um, you've got, that's right, you've got hero inspiration uh, going on for this round. Inspiration means that uh, if you've got shock, you can reduce it by up to two. So, well, I only took one, so. Well, so um, I don't see yeah. why you couldn't reduce that one. Sounds um, good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Peaches, you, uh, put down the, uh, the disconnect card or reconnect card, I should say. I've got to go back and rename that, but I didn't take a note on it last week. My bad. Uh, you were able to keep the power glove and you, it's not in flux anymore. Everything's good. You did not disconnect because you're a core earther. Uh, and you have the ability to attack this round. Artorius, you also have the ability to attack this round. Um, everybody else was involved in foot chase stuff and uh let me let me kind of go over that real quick uh if you guys will look over here um uh i've got uh nightbird and chris kind of following one another and they're more or less in a foot race with ninja one um down down here uh we will deal with that starting with round three there is no catching this this round but um, you guys can kind of uh, A, B, C, D your way uh, through it, uh, and, and we'll go from there. Let's see. Should I, re should I remove Ninja? Wait a minute. Why is Ninja 1? Okay. He's just a bad guy. Officer Shang and then Captain Bouchard. Okay. Never mind. Got it. So, um, Artorius and Peaches, which of the two of you wants to go first? I was just going to, uh, you know, attack, uh, I guess do an all out attack to my ninja, uh, with my ax because my gun is jammed. Okay. Um, so you're, you're more or less going to do a, a throwing attack or cause you, you, you moved your whole distance, um, as, and that took up one of your one of your simple actions, and then if you were to cross this difference distance for Officer Shang there, uh, or Ninja Shang, I should say, um, uh, that would we we'd have to deal with how that works. Um, we I could give you that, but it would be a penalty of two at the very least against Officer Shang. Is that what you want to do? Um, what? What are the rules for an all-out attack? Okay, all-out attack. Let me find that real quick. Uh, okay, you would add plus four to your melee or unarmed attack total, but you would be very vulnerable until the end of your next turn. So it would be the remainder of this round for you, uh, which the the villains have already gone first, so they're they're not gonna you're not gonna have to worry about that anyway. But until the end of your next turn. Uh, you're going to be, or I'm sorry, the end of the next round, you're going to be vulnerable. So if somebody, if the villains get uh, second place next turn, and Officer Shang survives, and um, 
and uh, uh, turns around and goes to whack you, um, uh, you're going to be at that very vulnerable, which is a penalty of minus four. True, but I do believe I have both Captain Bouchard and Artorius at my side, don't I? Uh, yeah, more or less to back you up, sure. But, yeah, that's um, why I'm going to... Captain that, Bouchard... That's why go ahead. Wait, I, go ahead. I apologize. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm going to do an attack. I have... Uh, I can pretty much hit the ground if I miss or do badly and uh, let them carry the baton, <laughs> as okay. it were. Okay. But... Uh, my axe is not a throwing axe. It is a two-handed axe. Oh, all axes are throwing axes. It just You just don't know what side of that axe head is going to hit. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> and if it hits. And if it hits and, and, and. Okay, so let's see. Um, so, Peaches, did you want to go uh, before Artorius then? Or Artorius, yeah. do you have anything special you want to try and do to help Peaches? Uh, hmm. Remember, this is a See, cooperative this. fighting game. So, right, yeah. See, See there's maybe a card I can use to help out, if nothing else. Uh, do you have a support card I can use to help out Peaches? Uh, be the best thing I probably could assist her, but. Oh, well, look, you've got the only card that you've got in your pool right now is your supporter is, card. So, yeah, that's the one I got. Yeah, if if you wanted to use that uh, for uh, to to help Peaches out, you can. Here's my recommendation: uh, yeah. don't do it yet. Okay, hold on to your supporter card. Yeah, if she needs it, then you can give it. Yeah, no, that's what I was waiting on. Okay, you're just asking if I had any ideas to help her out. And that's that's just my idea. There you go. All right, sounds good. Okay, so then you'll still have an action. Um, but Peaches, uh, don't forget, anything you do to do a die roll this round is uh, is an acceptable action to get a card. Uh, now, let's see, I've got to remember. I, okay, Chris and uh, Nightbird, you only ran, right, this round? Uh, yeah. Nightbird? Yeah, the moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he ran. Trying to finish up with him. Yeah. Okay. All right. So then, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's just you two. Just you two are remaining and have the possibility to gain cards by what you're doing. Okay, because neither of you moved over your allowance yet. So, Peaches, go ahead. And just roll melee with an axe? Well, um, you've got a long I... axe. Uh, what's the reach on that axe? I think it's one uh, meter, isn't it? It's 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 a fire axe, so yeah. Uh, hang think... on just a second. Strength plus two, AP one. Okay, it doesn't say anything about reach. So uh, you actually have to get up uh, next to uh, next to Shang. So that's gonna that's gonna give you a penalty of two on top of the penalty of two that you you guys already had last round. Oh. I forgot about that. You thought I forgot about that anyway. Uh, what penalty did you have? Uh, that uh, no wait a minute that was in round one. This is round two. So never yeah. mind. So yeah, that was in round one where you guys were you had a setback, uh, and I decided to give you a penalty of minus two because of that setback. So that was round one. So you're free of that. But if you run up to Officer Shang to hit him in the back, it's a blindside attack. It's uh, a yeah, all out blindside attack. So that's plus four. That ought to with the minus two. So that must give me a bonus of two. Okay, there is no blindside attack in here. I'm I'm looking at stuff right now. Uh, but yeah, an all out attack. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to give you a plus four to hit. So your actual total is going to be a plus two because you're going to have to run up and be next to him, which is going to break your your speed. Remember, if you if you move from you know from your uh, you know up to your dexterity, it's no penalty. If you move beyond your dexterity, um, it, that's a penalty of two for running. 
Okay. Okay. Um, so you'll yeah. actually only have a bonus of two this time around. That that's fine. So just roll one axe or both axes. <laughs> uh, uh, oh come on! The axes are going to be um, uh, uh, two-handed. So you know oh, it's they're fire axes. Uh, do yeah, you, it's are you going to move? A pull okay, okay. Are yeah, you, are you going to move your token up or am I? Uh, move it up, please. I'm sorry, I forgot how. I just your just your oh, keyboard works. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and then uh, go ahead and run your cursor over the top of Officer Shang and hit T on your keyboard, and then you can open up your sheet and uh, go to roll with your fire axe. Um, the oh, I forgot what it is now. Uh, let me open your sheet and kind of I'll open it up myself. Uh, I'm not going to roll for you. I'm just looking at the at the thing. Okay, uh, where it says input existing. Uh, on your skill test at the upper right, um, go ahead and click input existing and then put a bonus of two in there. Input where? Okay, did, did you did you click on your skill test? No. Click to, uh, click. Gonna, you see the box at the bottom right that says attacks and powers? I was just going to roll the dice at the yeah. axe. Click, click on the dice for the axe. Oh, input existing. There yep, we go. There you go. Now a two. Yep. Gotcha. And we're just going to do it that way and go ahead and hit roll. In the meantime, I'm going to open up Officer Shang here and close your peachesness. Jeez. No, I'm, I'm not going to take this. I, I am going to spend a possibility on this. Okay. So you go ahead and, and just uh, click to click on the possibility for the possibility line. Uh, are you going to reduce your possibilities or am I? Just did. I, okay, from a there four you go. Three, gotcha. And now where's okay the in the in the, okay on the chat yeah. chat log Got at it. the bottom possibility. Okay, and that's a minimum of ten. So you're only going to get no. two shock on the guy. Uh, do you do you, <laughs> unless unless somebody wants to go ahead and throw their supporter card in? Now what? It, uh, let's discuss this for a second. Um, okay. What is, uh, Jen, uh, Peaches, what is your goal for Officer Shang? Are you trying to, to bring him down to death? Are you trying to slow him down? Are you trying to stop him? What is it you're trying to do? I am trying to, uh, I suppose, tackle him, I guess. Uh, you know, grab, you know, pound, pound him into the dirt unconscious with my axe. That's really all I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not trying to kill him if, if necessary. I'll, 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 I'm doing my best to use the 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 less pointy end, but since it's there, really isn't one on a fire axe. Well, <laughs> no, that's true. Oh, I'm, I'm close to one of them. Uh, well, I, I could use the flat. the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could use the you could use, the flat of it. You could use the handle. Might not work as well. <laughs> or yeah, you I'm, know, that pointy. You know, you essentially. You could. I'm clubbing. I'm. I'm clubbing. I'm. I'm clubbing him on the back of the head. I want to see him go down like a sack of wheat. Okay, then you're going to need <laughs> something more than two shock. Um. So, uh, yeah, Artorius. Now that you know what it is, Peaches is trying to accomplish. Would you like to help her with that supporter card? That's what I'm about to do. Do I need a hand to her or do I just play it? Uh, just play it. All right. Okay. There we go. So, Ginger, go ahead and click on plus three card. And that'll that'll kind of tell you better what's going on. I think that may actually get you one wound and two shock, which we can do some conversion work for if you're just trying to kind of knock him out. Yeah. Yeah, I just want him to uh, okay. uh, be in his tracks. All right. Um, and meanwhile, I've gone all Valkyrie with a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Fair enough. Um, okay. On you on the card in the chat, you're going to see on the bottom where you found the possibility plus three card toward the right hand side. Go ahead and click on all that. Right. Okay. Uh, what? That was a good success. That should be more than that. 18 versus 
18, uh, so that's a 5. But the damage is still only 2 shock. You should have more than that. Okay, so something went wrong with the calculation here. So Yeah, use the table in the book and you'll see that I think a good success means 1 wound and and two shock. shock yeah it should but okay so here's here's what we're going to do uh instead of making it one wound and two shock um we're gonna make it so that you do drop him to the ground okay uh let me see if i've got a something that i can play with that will allow me to make him prone what is that prone there we go okay so the guy is is prone um and he's kind of, since you hit him with the side of an axe head, which is rather heavy and hard on brains, um, uh, he's, he's not really knocked out so much as he is, uh, he, he's incapacitated for a moment. So you guys can basically rush him and hold him down if you need to. Remy, what do you think? Yeah. I think that'd probably be our best bet. Okay. Do you want to kind of rush around those two and and uh, and and be right there on the ninja? Yep. Go ahead and move your token right on top of that ninja. Right on top of him. All right. Yep. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. I need to take my ninja guard here. Uh. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. That's all right. Uh, that's all right. Okay. We'll just real remember that you're on top. You can't control the ninja guard, so you should still be able to have your uh, token for Artorius selected. Okay. That sure. is going to end um, in the round. Uh, Peaches. Yay, I did good. <laughs> Peaches, since you did a successful attack, you're allowed to draw a card into your hand. Everyone gets to place a card in their pool. Do you guys remember how to do that? If you don't, let me know. Uh, wait, uh, me and Robert haven't gone. Robert, uh, uh, Ross, sorry. Ross, uh, you guys have gone. Uh, you ran full speed uh, after old boy here. Remember? Yeah, but that doesn't take an action. It does. You can have a... It, no, you can have a running penalty and do another action. But you haven't caught this guy. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll do this for you. How far? How far away is he from me? You can't see question. him. You guys are not able to see him. He jumped the wall. Remember, remember what I I explained last week about the railroad ties being stacked high enough. He jumped up on top of the railroad ties and disappeared into the into the under undergrowth. Uh, the the uh, oh, what is that? The ground cover. Okay, and then he was able to to get away from you guys uh, into some trees and stuff. So you guys. You guys haven't even really scaled that wall yet. So how about this? Right. You could scale that wall. Um, I'll even give you guys like a plus four bonus to jump up on that wall uh, if, if you want to. Or you can just have it be the remainder of the round where you can get up on that wall. And then I'll give you a bonus to try and find him next turn. How's that? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, just thought since we had the same speed as him, we would be keeping track with him. Well, that that's the thing. He was already ten spaces in front of you guys. He would remember. He was. Let's see. He was no, out he was here. right next to us. No, he this was guy right was right next to you. They were both right there, because I was right here. Uh, I did it to the guy in front of me, and I was going to the guy that was right next to me. And he turned around and ran. Well, I don't know where are his stats come open up, open up. That's a good boy. Yeah, he's got a dexterity of 10. He can't really move any faster than 30 when he's at an all out run. All right. You know what? I got an idea for you, but I got to go find something to do it.
because it's something that I've been wanting to include in the game for a while. Uh, and it's probably something that's going to end up getting me in trouble, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, there it is. <laughs> okay, let's see. That is concealment modifiers and darkness. That's oh, that's just changes to the to the current rules. Uh, that's interactions, firing into melee, action and effect bonuses. Uh, there it is. Let's see. Run, evade. Oh, goodness. Okay, so, push. Now, push was part of the original uh, tour game, and I've been trying to include it in this one for some time. Uh, all great athletes are able to push themselves past impossible limits, and now so can Storm Knights, uh, becoming momentarily stronger, faster, able to swim longer, climb more quickly, etc. Uh, when pushing oneself, roll the appropriate attribute versus a target number of 10 as listed on the chart. The parenthetical number is the shock you suffer from pushing and may not be soaked. For leap and run, instead of increasing speed, you may improve your chance to dodge instead, using the bonus uh, to leap or run. Okay, so for a run evade, okay, uh, it, it, go ahead and roll your, uh, if you want to, roll your dexterity versus a target number of 10. It's just a standard target number, but understand this. Uh, depending on how you roll would determine uh, how much speed you can gain to your um, uh, to the number of meters that you can run in a round okay but if if you, also depending on how you roll will determine the number of shock points you can take if you want to take them and these will not be soaked oh. What do you mean by how many shock points I will take? Okay. If if you're pushing yourself really hard, you're going to tire yourself out faster. This is represented by taking shock points. Okay. You want to try it out? So, like, if I get over a certain amount well, of here, 10? Here's the deal. Um, the, all of this goes on result points. So, the standard roll is a 10. Say you rolled a, I'm going to pull this out of the air, say a 14, okay? Uh, so that's going to be a result points of four. So you would get a bonus of two meters out of that, but you would take one shock point for it. Uh, the highest number of shock okay. points I have on this chart is four. So, and that's if you get 10 result points. And, and what they do is they work in kind of a logarithmic fashion. Okay, you get a, a certain bonuses for a plus one, or I'm sorry, certain amount of shock for a plus one, certain amount of shock for a plus two, etc., etc. The better you roll in each category, the less shock you take. Okay. Okay. You want to give it a try? Yep. Okay. Give me a dex check versus ten. And the the standard target number should just be in there. And no movement penalty. Um. That movement penalty actually has to be in there, yeah, because you're you're trying to you're trying to push well beyond your normal speed. So give it a shot. Okay, okay. so that's a nine. Okay, so that's a failure. Okay, nine. so zero. If if you don't get any result points, and this is not going to hold you back. Okay, you still get your your normal thirty meters for running. Okay, uh, but you get zero fatigue on this uh, from or zero shock on this, but you also don't get a bonus. Make sense? Makes sense. But the, the main thing was that I was thinking that since our speeds were the same, I was able to you know effectively keep up and still see him. Um, unless he pushed himself because we're at the same speed. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's something that I would have to roll for. You guys are doing it. I'm going to do it. Actually, Ross, do you want to try? Try what? Did you, know him? Did you, did you want to try and push your character? Yeah, sure. Okay, so give me a dex test, 
and I'm going to do a dex test at the at the same time. Uh, no athletics. No, no more for right. uh, Actually, it's it, since uh, you ran yeah. your full speed, <laughs> it's going to be a penalty of two. Okay, this guy is going to have a penalty of two. Input existing, thank you. Minus two, standard dex check, and roll. So, okay, so all three of you got failures. So it's it's kind of a wash in this particular instance. Um, so let me go ahead and close that. Okay, so we're, uh, let's see, everybody... But Rios and Andon, and even Rios and Andon acted by going into the house. Okay, so we go on to round three. Uh, let me go ahead and make sure everybody's marked here. Peaches is marked. Artorias is marked. Is that, is that my status bonus because I rolled a three? I'm sorry, what? That, and it says bonus minus six. Is that because I rolled a three? Yes. Uh, let okay. me. In in fact, I yes. can kind of help you out with this. Because uh, I'm like <laughs> Okay. So I just showed you guys the bonus chart. Uh, okay. Yeah. Across that the top, you've got sense. your die roll. Yeah. And you guys have access to this. All you have to do is go to the game general information under the journal tab. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I saw this once before. Oh yeah. But. I probably really shouldn't read that rule book. So, um. <laughs> no, Ross, don't read the rule book. I'll be completely fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you haven't been you haven't been un too unfair. I, I I don't think I've been unfair at all. But you know, there are some <laughs> things that are left to interpretation. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some things I yeah we've disagreed about in the past. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Thank okay. You. Does yep. it, oh you guys need to get cards into your pools if you haven't already. If you have uh, not moved a card I, into I, your pool, please do. Already done. Okay. Well, I have one in there already from last time. Yeah, I know, but you get one each turn. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, hmm. And it's always good to start funneling your cards. Even if you don't have anything that you think you'll use, it's always good to start funneling cards because you don't know what's going to happen from round to round. And if you don't put a card in there that you really uh, uh, think would be useful um, uh, and then well, you really need yeah, it, you're no, screwed. I have, so, yeah, I have no ideas. Oh, yeah. Some of these are not... Yeah, some of these you have to have a certain situation to use them. Yeah. Well, let me see something here. Uh, let's see. Now, wait a minute. Why can't I... Okay, there they are. Connection card, a romance card, or a transfer card. Okay, she... Um, uh, Catherine was talking about putting the transfer card into her pool, wasn't she? Uh, let's see. Show to I don't know. I, I'd have to go back through and... Okay, that adds it to the pool. So even Rios has one in the pool. Um, but I, uh, speaking of cards, I drew the uh, martyr card, which I can I can choose to exchange for a possibility rather than have it in my hand in play. I would like to do that. Okay, uh, would you do me a favor and show that to everybody? Just show players so that I can kind of read it. I think there's something else that goes with that too. Uh, let's see. Barter. Um, how do I show... It's one of the four icons on the left of your cards. Show to all players. There okay, play this card to achieve a significant goal. Your character perishes in the process. Alternatively, discard for a possibility and draw a new card. So, yes. uh, cool. I, I just increased your possibilities and you can draw another card. And, oh, and uh, discard that one. All right, I, I shall close this, discard it, and draw another card. There you Thank go. Thank you very much. You bet. See, that's why I wanted to look at it. I, I thought that one was also draw a new card, so I didn't know for sure. Uh, i got to turn on this fan. It is 800,000 degrees in this room. Hang on. Um, and then, uh, does anybody have well, I any... I didn't know you are on the surface of Mercury. Yes, yes, I am. Um it's Texas, so I am in hell. Um, I, I'm ah, it's not too bad. It's not like Florida. 
you, you know what? Kiss my Florida. I won't be moving there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but my sunshine state. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, uh, we where, went there. Where is, huh? where is from there, Georgia? I'm not coming to Georgia either. Yeah, you are. No. You come here and with me. No, no, no. Well, I might come to game with you, but uh, but it would be fly in, game, fly out. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, no, my favorite part about the you know, like the Golden Fiddle song mm -hmm. is that the devil went down to Georgia. Uh huh. Are, and 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 what is it you're trying to say? <laughs> and he come back. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, it's not bad in the fall. No, it, are really mild. I'm sure mm -hmm. it's beautiful in the fall <laughs> all right uh my friends do you do any of you have a card i don't think you do in your let's see opponent fails precision opponent fails season um chris you have a season initiative card um uh, do you want to keep the current card or do you want to uh just let a new card go if you're having trouble making uh, that decision, I can help uh, you. The seize in initiative can only be played at the beginning of the round. That's right? that's There's exactly three. right. Play at the we're at the end of the of round two. We're getting ready to go to round three, so play at the beginning of the round to keep the current and drama that card. Means, hmm? Yeah, before it goes like so. The exact wording is play. You know, play at the beginning of the round, mm -hmm. so I can't play it now. And to keep the current drama card for another round, or flip a new one after the you know, the card for this round is revealed, meaning I can't keep the current card either way. That's being shown right now. Uh, before the card is swapped Unless out, I... yes, you can. Nope, because that's you no know, for the current round, meaning the begin and can only be played at the beginning of the round, meaning the next. Once you flip over the card, I can choose to make you flip over another one or keep that card for another round. Oh, you just have to go all Magic the Gathering on me, don't you? <laughs> I love that game. Pain in the tuchus. Um Okay, so here it comes. New card. Come on. Come on. Okay, uh, you seek an advantage. Uh, oh, oh, you, you, you should have just gone with it, man. It's a standard round. Villain get to go first. Heroes face a surge. And I'll explain a surge when we get there. So, since the uh, villains... New card. Uh, Paul, new huh? card. Playing it. So, you are going to go ahead and play that? Yep. Okay. Now another card. Now, okay, let's read this. Play at the beginning of the round to keep the current drama card for another round. Or flip a new one after the card for this round is revealed. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Beatings. <laughs> so you want to try a different one, huh? Yep. Okay. All right. This one's a little bit better. Reversal, which is a reversal of what we what card was just there. It's a standard round. Heroes go first. Villains are fatigued. Villains will be fatigued when it is time for them to be fatigued. Uh, the approved actions are maneuver and taunt. So if you maneuver or taunt, you're in good shape. So heroes get to go first, so let's do this. All right. And Captain Bouchard will go last because he's a normie. So, uh, heroes, get a plan. Tell me what you want to do. And I'm going to leave Andon and Rios where they are for the time being. That, that sounds fair. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys want to do? There's there's two groups. Uh, let, let's deal with two groups. We've got uh, Captain Bouchard, Peaches, and Artorius, uh, who are basically sitting on top of uh, a guy that is going to be... I forgot about that. Oh, that's Artorius. Artorius, I'm going to move you for just a second. Okay, that's fine. Because I need to make sure this guy is stymied, and then I can move you back. Okay. And I know Remember your card has turned weird, or your your token has turned weird. It's, Don't worry about that. It's okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> okay. Um, remember, I'm stymied this round as well. Why? Are, oh, yeah. You're very, you're very vulnerable. 
So Very vulnerable. you should be able to left click on your token, right click so that you get the menu items. And then look at the guy with the with the radiant light around him. And then very vulnerable is going to look like a red skull, or I'm sorry, it's a white skull with a minus four on it, the top right one. There you go. Okay, thank yeah. you very much for being even-handed with me. I forgot to do that. Um, yeah, otherwise I'd be making like a cowgirl and hog-tying the guy we're sitting on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem anyway. Okay, so there's the three of you that are in that current state, and then there is um, Nightbird, uh, Chris, and the running away ninja, uh, who no longer has initiative, so you should be, and he's also vulnerable, so you should be able to catch him pretty much right away. Who? Which team wants to go first? Okay. Ninja. Okay. So are you trying to grapple the ninja, kill the ninja, drop him to his knees, force oh, him to surrender? What are yeah, you trying to do? Yeah, I want to I wanna disable him and force him to surrender. Okay. You want to, okay, you want to disable him. How do you want to do that? Uh, not his legs out or something. Um, and you're using, Electronics? what, your electric katana to do that? Um... I'm feeling unarmed combat, some martial arts. Okay, okay. And don't forget about your key strike. So, listen, go ahead yep. and uh, go ahead and roll uh, your unarmed combat. Uh, it's not really going to be a bonus or a penalty. Um, uh, yeah, no bonus, no penalty this round. So it is what it is. Okay, 14, that's not too terribly bad. Uh, oh, you forgot to select the target. That's all right. We can we can go oh, ahead. Okay. And that, yeah. That's okay. We can, uh, you got an action total of 15 versus 10. Oh, uh, sorry. What is his, what is his unarmed combat? 12. So you got him, but you're not going to get any kind of a damage bonus. Uh, so let's see. It's been, Your strength, uh, you're going to do what? It's been the, the do the key strike. Okay, so you're going to take one point of shock to do, to increase the damage total by two? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's see. That damage total is going to be your strength, uh, which is nine, uh, plus two, that's 11 versus his toughness overall of 10 so you're going to do two points of shock to him so that'll give him a total of three shock right now okay now um you did a successful attack he's got the shock let me roll a dex let me roll a dex versus 13 uh, let's see. So let's see. I don't have a three in there, so I'm just going to put a plus one here. Or I'm sorry, a penalty of, uh, Paul, what are you doing? Okay, it's a penalty of three. There we go. And roll it for old boy. Okay, uh, the ninja is prone. So let's see. Let me assign that status effect. All right, the ninja is prone, so he's actually going to be uh, two points easier to deal with, I think. P, well, where's prone? That's why my partner should be able to secure him then. And I think I have a plan just for that. Okay, so go ahead and enact your plan. Um, is it a, a psionic plan or a physical plan? Psionic, I'm just going to lift him into the air, or he can't do anything. Okay, you're just going to lift him and hold him? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we know what happened last time. <laughs> All right. <So. laughs> and he knows what happens if I just let go. So All right, so good. go ahead and... Uh, let me kind of stretch this out a little bit. Go ahead and... and uh, 
Let's see again his his weight is going to make him I I believe we figured that out as an eight last time. No, hold on, that's a measure of let's see uh ten. Your your mind is ten. Yep, so I can lift a hundred kilograms. That okay, that's and... uh that's right. So that's 220 pounds. So you can lift him. How high in the air are you looking at? I'm going to say uh, you can lift just him. Where he can't, like, grab at anything. Okay. Uh, you can lift him up to two meters in the air. Uh, I'm thinking, like, on a standard roll. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, but don't I get the bon plus two bonus? Because he's been knocked prone. He's prone for a physical attack. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should he get the bonus? Or, I mean, here's my argument. It's a, He's not attacking physically. The guy is already yeah. in a state. Um, so picking him up, is since it's not an attack... Uh, you're just picking the guy up. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably not going to get the bonus, but what do you guys think? I'll, I'll go with the, uh, the majority opinion. Okay. All right. Artorias. Uh, uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I, I don't let see why not. Actually you speak first. I was just wondering if you were going to have me add it or not. But I do agree that I probably shouldn't because it's oh, okay. just me rolling how much I can lift up and weigh. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, just go ahead. Yeah, then. So, I, I gotta, oh, hold on. I got to look at something. I, th I think I may have something screwed up. Uh, in When they re oh. released... When they released 2.5.0, and I'm not looking at that number yet, um, they put in a difficulty number drop down for everything. I've got to make sure I changed your drop down uh, for telekinesis. I don't remember if I did. Uh, easy eight. Okay, I did change it. All right. Um, so you. Oof. I rolled ouch. a natural one. Okay, but you're That's in. I was going. Yeah, you're in core Earth. <laughs> Uh, you hear, there you go. Let, 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 let me look at something real quick. Uh, okay, gotcha. Okay, you hear. I think I'm probably going to be taking some massive shock from this. Uh, some, failing from, well, yeah, you're going to take some backlash, but that's. Uh, you're going to take two points of, of shock from that. It, it Actually, a mishap may be four. Cause, no, 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 no. Uh, you take two shock, and then you cannot disconnect because you're a core earther and you're in core earth. Um, however, you kind of hear your, um, uh, your translator go zzz, pop. And and you hear nothing from it until the next scene. I, I would spend a. Oh, okay. Whew. I was like willing to like splurge on some possibilities if it was permanently destroyed. It it it's it's not. Um, it's not going to be destroyed. But I'm just going to take it away from you until the next scene. So you, you there won't be any translations until the next scene. I just want to make sure Automatic that's clear. Translation. Automatic <laughs> trans. Well, yeah, there there won't be any translations from that piece of equipment, um, and I don't think you have a reconnect card because I think there's only like one in the deck. So and Ginger spin it. Um, so Ginger. Uh, <laughs> yeah, curse you, Ginger. Curse you. Okay, curse. so. Um, but you are not able to lift the guy in the air, so uh, when it's his turn here in a moment, he will be able to react. Um, let's see. So that's the two of you, isn't it? So that's well, both. He couldn't lift him in the air? What? He, he was not. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Chris I was. Use... 
Try to use telekinesis to disable him by picking him up into the air. And he got but, a mishap uh, out of it. I failed horribly. Oh, come on, man. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I gave him to you, man. <laughs> I know you did. That's all right. Like he was served when he tries to stand up, I'll just knock him right down. Oh, okay. All right. Um, let's see. Then in that case, let's switch to the other team um, of uh, Artorias, Peaches, and Bouchard. Now, Bouchard will. Bouchard is going to act last uh, because he's a normie. So he, he's actually a storm a, a storm knight, but uh, I'm not treating him as such for this particular uh, encounter. Because he doesn't, he hasn't had his moment of crisis yet, for real. So what? Wait a minute, is this the one? Uh, yes, yes. Bouchard is possibility rated. He's he just doesn't know much about it yet. You guys will have figured it out though. So between you two, who wants to go first, and what do you want to do? Uh, we need to get this our our prisoner hog tied, or tied up, disabled. Okay. I do not have rope. I do. I have everything in my kit, duct tape even or bandages. Okay, <laughs> now Ginger, you're only yeah. you're only very vulnerable. You're not very stymied, so your skills should still be good. If you want to try and tie this guy up. Uh, yeah. let's, let's get a, a roll with a target number of 12 for your, uh, unarmed combat. Unarmed combat? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. That's not in my defenses, so I guess I'll just go to the skills over here to the left. Yeah, unarmed combat is a skill. There we go. Uh, no, uh, bonuses or minuses, right? Um, no, just, and, uh, not, well, and... and you can't choose a target number, can you? No, but wait, I can. Uh, wait. Challenging. Yeah. 12, go. yes. There yes. you go. Challenging. Number 12. Right. And just roll it. Uh, your vulnerability should not affect... Oh, my goodness. What is it with the rolls? Uh, well, okay. something I'm going to... While I'm looking to hold them, is that going to do anything for that no. at all? Since I'm trying to help her? Or, no, no it's not. Anything? My mishap. With you know with a mishap, you cannot put possibilities against it. You cannot put cards against it. And generally, people can't help you. So Ginger gets her rope and tries to get after this ninja's legs. And he goes to kick out. Okay? Which is why Ginger misses. It doesn't mean he's off the ground yet. It just means he misses. Now, Artorius, it's up to you. Oh, man, the pressure. <laughs> pressure, really? <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, okay. love that song. Ah, me too, actually. So uh -uh, you can't love that song. Right? I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> So I do not have rope to time with, but I do have my plan shackles spell that maybe I can use to keep them down. Okay, now I Climbing want you to bear right. something in mind. Okay, yeah. uh, where's plant shackles? It's right there. Let me read it real quick. Um, yeah. Boy, these character sheets pop up so nice now. Uh, let's see. An area with a medium blast radius is covered in writhing plants that capture any living creature standing there. Any creature affected by the spell is restrained and can only... You know what? Why am I doing this? Why aren't we sharing this? Um, I, oh, maybe I can't. I don't know why. Why aren't you sharing it? Um, because there's no way to share it from here. Uh, I would have to share it from. Hold on, I can get this. I know how to do this. No, really, no, I don't. What the Deep hell? breaths. <sighs> okay, I'd have to go to powers, plant shackles. There we go. Okay, there we go. So I had to go onto your powers tab and use the quotation device to do it. 
Uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. Attempting to break free requires an easy difficulty number eight strength test. If the victim succeeds, this does not consume his action, and he may act normally. Well, I was thinking either I do that or I try to hold it down physically and try to keep him from getting up. Um, or would I be able? To, can I try it's, to? It's basically the like from Peter some time down or. Um. No, 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 no. She already failed with the rope. She's <laughs> laying on top of the rope, you know. Um, yeah. So let's see. Yeah, uh, it doesn't, okay, medium blast radius. So that's going to affect everybody in the area. Um, yeah. Let's see, any living creature standing there. So that's going to affect Peaches. It's going to affect Captain Bouchard. And it is a medium blast radius, which is five. So yeah, let me so see. So try and so if I'm going to try to hold him down physically, would I have to do the unarmed combat roll? What would I have to do specifically? Um, to try to try just to try and keep him from getting up. Uh, will it do it with a circle? There we go. So that's the area that yeah. plant shackles would affect. Yeah. Okay. So just you three, basically. Oh, well, just you four. Sorry. Um. So, what were you going to try and do? Well, I was asking just to hold him down physically. What kind of role would I have to make do to make sure that I could keep him down? None. So get up. None. None. Um, but if he goes to try and get up, um, he is going to have to roll for grappling uh, versus uh, versus you. So let's see, grappling, grappling, grappling. Okay. So let's see. It's an unarmed combat test. Melee weapons may be used instead with the appropriate weapon, but he does He's not going to have anything like. Well, he might have something like that out. Come to think of it, um, if it's a standard success, it would be. It would be um, uh, up, uh, opposed, unlimited or uh, unarmed combat tests, unless he uses okay. his melee weapon, and then it'd be a uh, opposed melee weapons test. So, all right. I'm just gonna try to try to keep from moving if I can. Okay. And and when it comes it, when it comes down to it, because he is gonna try and get out. Um, we'll do right. those opposed tests then. I got you. I'll keep it ready. Okay. So peaches, peaches Hi. tried, and then Artorius is keeping busy, and I need to go to Bouchard. Wink, wink, oh, wink. Yeah. Hey, 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 be nice. I am. <laughs> um, okay, Bouchard is going to move out here. And uh, he is going to draw down on the ninja. He's going to say, hold him in place while I get my cuffs ready. And that's as far... I'll certainly do my best. That's as far as he is going to go. Okay, Villains are fatigued. So, Ninja One. Oh, come on. Pop open. Ninja One takes two. Sh Wait a minute. Paul, what'd you do that for? You're on the wrong side, you knucklehead. So, that's going to be a total of five shock on him. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm just going to close that one. And then for Officer Shang. There we go, and he is open, and he is going to take two. Okay, but then they get to act. All right, let's deal with Officer Shang first. Okay, so Officer Shang is going to try to break out. Let me see, what do I have? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something here that's kind of weird. Okay, so uh, roll 1d6. Odds, uh, he's on his stomach. Evens, he's on his back. Okay, he's on his back, so he can yeah. actually react. Uh, so he is going to use his electric katana versus... Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, I actually have to kind of move... I'm going to move Officer Shang just a little bit, and then I'll move him back when I'm done, because I've got to target you. He's going to... Yeah, I got Hmm? Do I have to target him? I'm sorry, what? Yes. Do I have to target him? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me get that real quick. So what you're going okay. to do is you're going to do... Um, 
would it be an unarmed combat a opposed role or the rules are not real clear about this um well how okay. do you think it should work well here here's the deal if you choose to use your unarmed combat defense, you have a solid number. That's what he rolls against, but you don't have a chance to get any better. If you do an opposed unarmed combat roll, you have a chance of getting a better number, but you also have a chance of failing. And if he gets up, he's moving. Because right. it counts as a free action for him to get up. But he will all her already have tried to attack you, so he would only be able to move his uh, his standard speed, I think. Unless I give him a penalty. So what do you want to do? How do you want to handle it? Uh, I'll make a counter roll. You're going to make a counter roll. Okay. 